All right, what's going on, y'all? So I recently got asked what exactly I take to the gym. So today I'm gonna to take you through everything in my gym bag, everything I take to the gym, and everything I use in the gym. So before we get into the bag itself, I first wanna go ahead and cover what shoes I wear to the gym because that's also something that I get asked. So for the last, I'd say about a year and a half to two years, I've been rocking these Nobles. So Nobles, if you're not familiar with them, they're really, really popular in the CrossFit space. That's actually when I picked up my first pair um, was when I was kind of playing around um, with CrossFit um, doing hybrid. Um, but if you haven't used these before, the grip on the bottom of these is amazing. So especially for leg day, anything doing squats, deadlifts, leg press, hack squat, anything like that to where you're wanting really, really good grip, Nobles are great. The other thing about these two is if you're doing cardio, all of that, they're kind of meant, these are the trainers, so they're kind of meant to be able to be, you know, run in a little bit, um, you know, do the more CrossFit style workouts, which I know for bodybuilding isn't really what we do, but um, it does actually play out well for bodybuilding. And you'll see many bodybuilders actually now wearing nobles. They have low tops and high tops. I'm not using these as much anymore. Right now in prep, pretty much the only time I use these is for my fasted cardio in the morning. They're just easy to slip on um, and then go get on the Stairmaster. What I actually use almost all the time are my chucks. So, you know, chucks, are, chucks and vans are like the two really, really common um, shoes for um, bodybuilders and powerlifters and all of that for good reason too. They've been used for decades um, and the grip on these is amazing. I actually prefer the grip on the Converse way more than I do the Nobles and they're literally like half the price. I also like the look better of, you know, kind of old school high top chucks than I even do with the Nobles. So these are my go-to lifting shoes, my chucks, and then my second would be the Nobles. But that's what I wear in the gym. As far as the gym bag itself, I actually picked this up, I think about anywhere from seven, eight years ago now. I actually got this at the original Golds in Venice Beach, the Mecca. Um, so I've been rocking this bag for a long time. This bag went with me through college and it's it's been with me ever since. So, you know, it's still in really good shape. I don't have any holes, anything like that. And it's just an old school kind of worn gym bag, but I love it. So the first thing I've gotten here is probably the most important thing to me and that's my workout logs. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've got like 10 or 12 of these throughout the years that I've filled out. I've got everything from my, what exactly the, the movement I did was, the sets, the reps, and then any other notes I've got, you know, intensity level, all of that. But I track literally every single rep I do in these workout logs. So the reason I've got two is I've got my current one that I'm currently using and then the one from um, the previous go round. So for, you know, my workouts from like six to eight months ago, they'll be in the backup one. Every once in a while, I like to refer back to, you know, where I was you know, six months ago, all of that, just make sure I'm, I'm you know, at least progressing. Um, so that's why I keep tuning here. But this right here, if I was to give any beginner, any tip, even intermediate, um, the thing I don't see most people in the gym doing is logging their workouts, and this is how you progressive overload. This is how you know, you know, if you're beating yourself from the week before, um, you know, going up in weight, going up in reps, all that. So this right here, probably the most important thing in my bag, my workout logs. So number two, I get asked this question a lot, what knee sleeves do I like to wear? So I've gone back and forth between uh, using knee wraps and then knee, knee sleeves. Now, I actually personally like knee sleeves quite a bit better. They're easier to slip on, and for me, um, they actually do give um, great support when I am doing squats. And if you guys have followed me, you know that I like to do heavy squats, heavy hack squats, leg press, all that, and these have been great. So. These are bare complex knee sleeves. Um, this is my second pair by them. They hold up really, really well, um, and I, I love them. So bare complex, it's with a K, K-O-M-P-L-E-X, bare complex. But these are my go-to knee sleeves. Next, I've got a mask. I have not used this uh, for the gym in like over a year. So this right here, this is like a little um, screw thing. Really, it's just like a little, um, metal stick. So the reason I have this is if I'm using a machine and max out the machine and I want to go ahead and add a plate to it, you can go ahead and stick the plate in and then you put this in to add weight to it. So if I'm wanting to add, you know, 25 pounds to a maxed out machine, then I'd go ahead and use this. Typically what I do though is just pull a pen from a machine nobody's using um, that's next to that machine and use that. But every once in a while I've got to pull this out. They actually make um, pens specifically for this reason but they're like super expensive. So if I was to recommend to you, just go to Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that, pick you up just you know any metal bar um, that's gonna fit into 
the pin slot and you're gonna be good to go. But this, um, like I said, this is what I use when I max out the machine. Um, next are my wrist wraps. So I actually alternate between the two of these. Um, these are the ones I like to use on leg day. If I'm doing really, really heavy squats, back squats, anything like that, these are a little bit smaller. These ones are by gas. Um, and so they don't wrap as many times around um, and I love them for leg day specifically. Any day except leg day, these are my road wraps. They wrap around many more times, um, and so I'll use these for pretty much any other day other than leg day. But um, these wrist wraps, you know, once you're moving weight, you guys know that um, your wrists will become, you know, they will become a little bit more compromised. And so these are gonna really, really save any wrist pain, anything like that, and allow you to lift heavier weight because of it. Um, I've got a backup pen in here for my workout logs. These, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see me wearing these in almost every picture. So these are my wrist straps, not wraps. These are my straps. So these are Harbinger. I've gone through multiple pairs of Harbinger. Um, I've got another pair out in the garage. I forget what brand that is. I don't really use those as much. The, the ones I've got in the garage are heavily padded and these are lightly padded, but it's just enough for what I like to use. These Harbinger wrist straps, by far my favorite. Um, but these, I use these on a lot of movements that a lot of people don't use. So anytime I'm doing any um, dumbbell curl, like a, a, a hammer curl, um, even me doing dumbbell laterals, um, dumbbell front raise, pretty much anything where I'm trying to isolate a specific muscle, I'm gonna use these to take out a lot of the forearm um, and grip. And I get you know comments all the time of people trying to you know, make fun of me or mock me or anything like that of, you know, why are you using straps on, you know, 40 pound dumbbells doing hammer curls? It's literally to take out um, all the accessory muscles and just isolate the muscle I'm wanting to work on. Most people, and how I also use it as well, is for your heavier movements. So if you were to do back movements like rows, lat, lat pull downs, um, you're doing any pulling movement like a rack pull or a deadlift, um, that's where most people use them. It's of course where I use them as well. But like I said, um, you can be a little bit more liberal in where you do use these straps um, as long as you are still hitting you know, your forearm and still working on your grip strength as well. You know, if I didn't have good grip strength and I didn't have good forearms, then I'd of course you know, be limiting the use of this or I'd just be increasing the amount, um, the, the frequency that I actually hit those accessory muscles. Um, but don't be afraid to use wrist straps. Um, and I use these all the time. Pretty much every uh, workout I go to, I'm gonna use them at least a little bit. So next are my headphones. I've gone through so many different headphones. I've gone through AirPods. Um, I've you know thought about getting over the head headphones like Beats, but um, these have kind of been my go-to. They're like $25 headphones that you can get off of Amazon. I see lots of people wearing these. Um, these, you know, I have to go through like a new pair every you know four to six months or whatever, but um, they've served me really well. I use these back when I used to run ultra marathons. I had multiple pairs for that. Um, and so that's what I use. Just a cheap uh, pair of headphones, Bluetooth headphones. I've got a lock sometimes when I go to Gold's and not my other gym, Gym One. Um, I've got to lock up the bag. Um, so that's that. My lifting belt. All right. So my lifting belt, I've gone through rogue belts. Um, I've gone through kind of the old school, just leather belts. This is a leather belt from Gasp. I've used this now for probably at least five, if not six years or so. And this thing, I have zero complaints about this and highly recommend this for anybody looking to get a new weight belt. Um, I've gone through and tested and tried so many different weight belts throughout the years. And this one for the wide variety of movements. So everything from a, a leg day, doing squats, deadlifts, all the way to a back day. Um, this for me is the perfect size, the perfect thickness. All of that, you know, you, a lot of times you'll find the really, really thick ones. Those ones will be great for some movements and suck for others. This is kind of, for bodybuilding purposes, this is kind of my go-to um, weight belt. Um, but that's literally everything I've got in my gym bag. Every once in a while I'll change things out. Sometimes if I'm taking supplements or rice cakes or, you know, needing to have carbs into a workout, I'm not in prep, then I of course carry my food and supplements in here as well. Um, but for the most part, this is how my gym bag stays year round um, and how it's saved for literally years at a time. This is everything I use um, in all my go-to equipment. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. 
Um, if you did, please do me a huge favor, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, leave any comments or questions down below. Love going ahead and connecting with all of you. Be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.